We turn now to one of the most urgent and expensive issues facing this country. Fixing a health care system many people say is simply broken. Starting tonight, ABC News will be taking a week-long, comprehensive look at the problems and possible solutions for a system that has left millions of people uninsured, unhappy, and unhealthy. As part of this series, ABC News, the Kaiser Family Foundation, and USA Today polled people across the country. Only 44% say they're satisfied with the overall quality of health care, and only 18% are satisfied with the cost. And that cost impacts everyone. Last year alone, federal spending for health care totaled more than $600 billion. That is about a quarter of the entire federal budget. Doctors, patients, and policymakers all have ideas about why the health care system is in critical condition. Tonight, we hear some of their stories. Good morning, I'm Sheila Hamilton. Welcome to Speaking Freely. We welcome back Governor John Kitzhaber today to talk to Dr. John Kitzhaber spends a lot of time talking about health care. As the cost of care continues to increase. He was an emergency room physician and a two-term governor of Oregon. He's seen it all from both sides, and he says our health care system is just plain broken. It's a system that sort of lies in the weeds until people are very, very sick and then rushes in with extraordinarily marvelous and expensive high technology to help you recover on the back end. It's about a series of choices, and Kitzhaber says we're making the wrong ones. Should 95-year-old grandpa's quadruple bypass surgery be paid at the expense of his 6-year-old granddaughter getting immunizations and a routine checkup with her pediatrician? One of the biggest questions, insurance. While most Americans say they're satisfied with the care they get, the United States is the only industrialized country that does not guarantee health coverage for everyone. We do have a de facto policy of universal access. It's called the emergency room. Then those uncompensated costs are shifted back to people who, who do have insurance coverage by increasing their bills or increasing their insurance premiums. Or the cost is picked up by the government. If I wake up every day and nothing's hurting and I'm not nauseating and throwing up, I'm having a good day. I did, Mamie Jackson has had trouble with her kidneys for most of her life. They finally failed 10 years ago. For this state college professor in Los Angeles who had grown up dirt poor in the South and finally made it, the doctor's words were devastating. I kind of went into shock and went numb because I was in my early 30s. And he's telling me, you're not going to be able to work anymore to take care of yourself. No job meant no insurance. No insurance, no operation. To qualify for public assistance, she actually had to become poor again. I had to spend all of my money in order to be able to get that help from the county. Eventually, she qualified for Medicare and got a kidney transplant. But even those who pay can face risks, such as medical mistakes. In Indianapolis last month, tiny Thursday Don Jeffries and two other premature babies died after they were accidentally given 1,000 times the prescribed dosage of a blood thinner. I think it was wrong. Uh, my baby was fine before they gave her the head brain. It's not just patients. Doctors also say the system is broken. In some parts of this country, it is hard to even find someone to deliver a baby. It's considered a high-risk specialty. Obviously, you know that we're not delivering babies anymore. In northern New Jersey, Dr. Ruth Schultz has delivered close to 3,000 babies. Last year, she stopped. Because the cost of malpractice insurance is so high, and the money insurance companies pay for each delivery is so low. There's a lot of sadness in the fact that we're giving up something that we truly love doing. And there's nothing in the world like delivering a baby. Yet another symptom of a health care system many believe is in desperate need of an overhaul. If spending money on health care made people healthy, we'd be the healthiest nation in the world. And the fact is our health statistics are abysmal compared to some of the other countries that we compete with. No easy answers here. ABC News division-wide special coverage of the health care issue continues all day tomorrow, beginning on Good Morning America. Our editorial partner, USA Today, kicks off its coverage in the morning. And, of course, you can see our reports anytime on our website, which is abcnews.com.